Welcome to our studio. Thanks for coming, sir. First Thanks of all, Mongolia and United States have resumed a forum of the General Agreement of Trade and Investment after the seven years of interruption. So what's, what's your take on that? We had uh, yesterday the Trade Investment Framework Agreement talks here in Ulaanbaatar and really had a very good conversation. The, one of the main topics was the Transparency Agreement, which we've now completed and has been passed by the, the Parliament here, which is excellent news. Mm -hmm. And we had a, a very uh, detailed discussion about the investment environment in Mongolia. There was also conversation about intellectual property rights protection mm -hmm. and other trade and investment issues. So it was uh, really a very good uh, opportunity, I think. Ambassador Holliman, who was our head mm -hmm. of delegation, is a very senior official in the USTR. And, and, uh, and it was, a, I think, a, a really uh, energetic resumption of this uh, dialogue. Well, uh, how do you see, what do Mongolia and the United States share in the economic sector? Share with us your experience. I think there's a lot of potential for uh, U.S. technology and expertise and Mongolian uh, resources and human resources to be put to use together in, in creating jobs and, and opportunity for, for people in Mongolia as well as, as, more, as uh, farther afield mm -hmm. in, in the form of exports. Uh, and, and trade from the United States. So there, I think, really quite a lot of potential. Um, I'm most excited uh, about, you know, people talk a lot about mining, and today we yeah. had some big news on that topic. Yeah. You might ask me about that soon. But, but uh, really, I th see a lot of potential in other sectors as well. For example, in the services sector, uh, the United States has very good com companies and individuals that, in, in a lot of professional services and, mm -hmm. and in financial services. Uh, and also in, in tourism, I see, I see a lot of potential for uh, expanded investment in that area. Well, uh, is there anything Mongolia can learn from the, uh, in ch from the uh, challenges that the United States faces? I mean, uh, Mongolia is seeking to regain investors' confidence, so uh, especially in the mining sector. The, the passage of laws uh, governing mining <coughs> and energy, also of investment laws. So, so could all of these laws should help to attract investors? I think so. The, the, um, and certainly there have been some challenges yeah. in the investment climate here in Mongolia with the, in, in terms of uh, some inconsistency in the application of law mm -hmm. and, and some questions about who's in charge of what and, and decision-making processes. But I think that you know, I'm, I'm going home with a real sense of optimism that, that those challenges are being faced squarely and sincerely mm -hmm. and that, and that uh, Mongolia is very uh, focused on having a, an attractive environment for, for foreign direct investment. And I expect that, that, that we'll see a, a rebound in, in the uh, amount of interest coming from overseas. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what, what would be other steps to regain investors' confidence? I think it really comes down to, to uh, uh, transparency and consistency. Yes. Uh, it's, it's critical for the rules of the road for foreign investors to be to be clear and to be apparent from the start and then and then investors need to be assured that the, that those rules will be consistently applied mm -hmm. and and really everything else is is, uh, is there are other important factors cost of doing business of course and and all the various specific uh, criteria for any specific investment to be considered profitable but really, in a broad sense, it's that, it's that transparency and consistency that's very important. Well, uh, United States is the third neighbor to Mongolia, mm -hmm. and this praise annotates the importance of the relation between the countries. So what's your take on that? Well, I think that, that both of our countries really uh, value and cherish the relationship mm -hmm. with one another. And from the U.S. perspective, we, you know, we are a third neighbor for, for Mongolia. We want to be a good third neighbor or mm -hmm. even the best third neighbor for Mongolia. And so what you saw this week was, was a, a, I think, a revitalized attention from the United States. And, mm -hmm. and we had the, the Trade and Investment Framework Agreement talks. And then today uh, I had a, a broader, uh, more strategic economic policy dialogue with counterparts in your government. Um, later this week, our, our, the CEO of the Millennium Challenge Corporation will be visiting here. Uh, to, to start to structure the possibility of another MCC compact. Mm -hmm. So I hope that, 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 that this is conveying a very a strong sense of, of engagement and desire for cooperation from the U.S., particularly on economic issues, because uh, economic development, job creation, and, and bettering the lives of all of our people is what 
what what life is all about. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, Mongolia is a relatively minor U.S. trade and uh, trade and partner. So, what could be the best trade uh, relationship development direction? I think the um, the there are there's complementarity between what Mongolia is is uh, strong in and what the United States mm -hmm. is strong in, and certainly that that uh, that trade based upon the availability of goods and technology is something that will naturally develop. Um, there is a lot of distance between us physically. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so I think there's particular potential, again, in, in, in businesses where, uh, where that are information-based mm -hmm. or uh, in, in the area of e-commerce. I think there's a lot of potential for deeper relations between uh, the United States and Mongolia because the physical distance is not so important in those lines of business. Well, uh, business between the countries can be measured by the partnership between American and Mongolian private firms. So how can the diplomatic channel support this? Well, the job of diplomats in this regard is to talk about the overall environment and the key principles involved. And then, and then when problems arise, we get involved in addressing those problems. But really, the, the private sector is the key driving force in all of this. Mm -hmm. And again, if, if Mongolia is, as I believe it is, doing a good job of structuring the economy to make it attractive to the private sector capital, mm -hmm. both, both domestic and foreign, uh, the, the future should be very bright. Well, and last, uh, what's, your, what's your view on the long-term prospect of the Mongolian economy? I think it's very, very positive. The, uh, Mongolia has some great assets. Uh, the, the, uh, you, know, you have immense natural resources, mm -hmm. uh, strong human resources, a young population, um, people are, are well educated and hard working uh, and you're in you're in a in a, uh, a part of the world which is rapidly growing um, so there's every reason to think that Mongolia will be a, a big success economically um, there are challenges uh, every country faces challenges related to infrastructure related to consistent application of, of, of rule of law and then and, and, and every country including the United States um, re really needs to focus on human resource development and that's, that's one of the things that, you, you know, you'll, you'll hear our president working very, very hard on education and, and issues related to, to developing uh, human capital. And that's something that every country always has to be working on improving. Yes, it's really nice to talk to you. Thanks for coming. Sir. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.